Our first trip to the North Channel was uh, back in 1992. So we had an infant and a toddler and 27 foot boat and got to experience it with the broader group of our family. And uh, it was the first time that we had had a chance to experience what it meant to be in the North Channel. Uh, the North Channel is kind of a secret uh, navigating spot for a lot of boaters. Um, quite a few people know about it, but not very many people have been up here. And it's because it's pretty remote, pretty secluded, uh, attached contiguously to the northern part of Lake Huron, separated by a series of islands. And that kind of creates this body of water known as the North Channel. Um, a year ago, Barb and I um, started talking about um, making a trip back to the North Channel. It had been a while for us uh, since we had been back and we decided that it was time to make a trip back and we talked to the kids and made a plan and started looking at the opportunities. The 49 Coupe was in development and this seemed to be the perfect combination for us to be able to take um, our kids, now grown adults, and their spouses and kind of make it a a great trip together, um, gave them a chance to kind of remember things from when they were a child to now being an adult, and gave them a chance to share that with important people in their lives. On this trip, uh, we spent a few nights in the Benjamin Islands. The Benjamin Islands are probably the most famous uh, grouping of islands in all of the North Channel. They're by far the most visited and probably the most talked about. Um, it's kind of cool, it's got its own uh, unique uh, type of look, but um, it's pretty raw. There's just not a lot of other stuff. This trip we were fortunate enough to see some uh, mama black bear with two bears and that was a nice treat. We've seen bald eagles and a lot of other nature up here and it's, uh, it's kind of a nice, a nice special place. They have a reddish granite um, that is really highlighted by some sunsets and it really ends up creating a very picturesque evening when you're up there and enjoying it on the anchor. And uh, some of the most beautiful evenings up there um, are in the Benjamins. So a lot of people naturally want to be there. We spent a couple nights there. Our kids, if you go back in our boating journals, uh, some of their best memories, their most favorite memories, their number one requests are, we want to make sure we go to the Benjamins. We went from there to a spot um, not quite as popular, uh, a little more remote, referred to as Shoepack Bay. Uh, pretty deep harborage, pretty deep water. Some of the things that make you want to be here is the natural beauty. Um, it has a certain pure rawness that is not something that we find in many places that we interact with on a daily basis. So the ability to be in that raw environment where there's not a lot of civilization, there's not a lot of amenities, there's not a lot of structure and human interface that has affected it. It stays pretty calm and pure and it just has a natural beauty that has been untouched for a long time. So it gives us a great spot to hang out, check some of the old history out there. There's some cribs hanging out in the water that are pretty deep there, which were uh, foundational to a pier at one time for the shipping pier, and pretty cool history to be able to still see that stuff that's been there for over 100 years. It was a great opportunity for us to be able to take a brand new boat for a, a task that really is perfectly suited for this boat. So to be able to go up here with six grown adults in this boat, we've got all the amenities to be able to cook and eat and sleep and comfortably stay, and live on board. And we've been able to be up here navigating some of our favorite harborages and anchorages um, from past memories.